Okay guys, so this is a very quick video and I'm going to unbox this spin fit and this is a very new uh, design called the W1. Hi guys, my name is Ian. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do mostly audio product reviews and if you guys are interested in this type of content, do consider to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. Okay, spin fit and it's a new design called the W1 and uh, it looks like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. Very quick one, okay. So this is uh, retailing for I think uh, 20 US dollars and it's available on Amazon. I bought this with my own money. Uh, right, so let's just take a look at the back. So basically it's got a patented um, 40 degree uh, custom fit type of design and it's a medical medical grade silicone and it's got a double layer W core so because of that W core that's why it's called W1 right the name of it and it's extraordinary sound stage yeah so it's got three different sizes so I wish I wish that they gave me just one size or at least have, let me have a choice of just one size because you know I actually intended to give it away uh, but now it's like three sizes in one capsule and uh, the moment I touch it, it's going to be contaminated. So, uh, yeah, I can't give it away. So, basically, it comes like that. And, uh, yeah, I got to open it. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Very nice, transparent shape, dome shape. Um, and, of course, it comes in three different sizes. You have the small, medium, and large. So, the small is at um, 11.5 millimeters by 9.7 millimeters tall and the medium is 12.5 by 9.9 .9 millimeters tall and the large is 13.5 by 10.1 millimeters tall okay so the nozzle diameter is ranging from 5 to 6 millimeters okay so just measure your IEM and to see whether it fits or not. So I'm going to, as you can see, I've taken out all my IEMs and I'm going to test it one by one and put it in my ear and see how the fit is. So I'm going to try the medium because I'm a medium guy. So yeah. So let's try this one first. This one has got a more of a medium type of uh, nozzle. Let's try that one, see if it fits. It should. Okay. Mm, okay, there you go. Let's try and put it in my ear. See how it goes. All right, very nice and comfortable. The um, the feel of the flange. I mean, it's a single flange, and uh, it's it's a little bit of a rubbery feel. And I can f when I when it goes in, I can feel that this dome here is like adjusting to the angle of my ear. So it's very good let's try that again very nice very nice so let's try another um, I am that you know usually I get a very um, loose fit uh, like this AS16 which I which I just uh, reviewed and this one has got a very wide bore let's see if this one fits okay yep it goes in no problem All right so let's try this. Um, Got to push it in a little bit more. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, very nice. So it goes in very uh, easily to my ear canal and it stays there. I mean, this, I think this sticky rubbery um, silicone is, it stays in my ear. So pretty good. Okay, let's try another IEM. Maybe, um, oh, it's really hard to come out. Okay, so wide bore is gonna be a little bit tight fit, okay, for this W1. And because there's a stem in there, so this stem here is a little bit uh, soft so that it allows it to articulate. Right, it allows the inner bore to articulate. Uh, let's try, yeah, this latest one from Truth Ear Zero T1. 
tuned by Crinical, and this one has got a really wide bore as I mentioned so let's try this wide bore uh, okay so it's gonna be a little bit tough to go in but let's see if we can get this in okay so it doesn't seem to be going in right for this really wide bore I am so let's try a smaller nozzle this is the EDA right so it's a really narrow bore so let's see if it stays goes in really easily let's see if it stays in place because some ear tips doesn't really stay in place just drops off let's try putting it in my ear see if it fits oh wow nice fit very nice fit very comfortable oh man i love this tip okay so yeah fits the uh small nozzle very small nozzle so if i were to ah one more dioko so as i think if you watch my um videos dioko has got a very unique angle to the nozzle so i just want to see if this will allow the ear tip to articulate the angle of the tip so that it fits into my ear okay so it does go in to the nozzle right the tip does fit the nozzle so it's okay and let's put it in my ear and it yeah it's nice it's just, so this is a better fit now so it doesn't come out of position okay even if i shake my head um pretty good yeah i can i can feel that it's, it's giving me a better seal very nice okay so yeah fits the dioko let me try to find uh and i am with a straight um nozzle right not too sure if i can find one a straight nozzle how about the not the i can't find one with a straight nozzle oh one more that wobbles in my ear yep there's this one the melees and also the Olinas. Where are the Olinas? Somewhere here. Yeah, but let's try the Melees. Melees has got a um, pretty middle size bore, pretty wide as well. And let's try to put this in. Okay, so it fits the Melee. Okay, fits the Melee. Let's try to put it in the ear oh nice cool so when i put this uh, ear tip into my ear i can feel that the, the flange is um, articulating uh, according to the angle of my ear canal so it's, it's really good okay so let's flip it around and just show you guys so this part here will allow this thin part here will allow the flange to articulate or change the angle of the ear tip according to your ear canal. Okay? So yeah, so this is a very quick impression of this uh, Spin Fit W1. And um, yeah, so far I'm liking it. Um, and of course, um, I got to listen to it, see um, how it uh, claims to uh, give me an extraordinary sound stage but yeah for now that's it for this very quick impression of the spin fit w1 so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did do consider to give this video a thumbs up right so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a great day ahead and i'll see you again in my next video cheers